Hey guys, this is Jonathan Sweeney, and today we will be talking about a very serious topic. Uh, for those who didn't know, Robin Williams uh, died earlier this week. He was uh, 63 years old and unfortunately killed himself. Uh, I'm not going to say why he killed himself. We know he had depression and drug issues. But I think as someone who didn't know him personally and as someone who's not a trained mental health specialist, it is not my place. Neither is it anyone else's place in the media or in private to suggest why he did it. But today I'm going to give you, have a, start a dialogue with you guys about mental illness and about how you guys can help fight the stigma, how you guys can help with it overall and I'll give you some stats on them uh, the stats are pretty more than what you think they are and I will give you some hotline numbers for those who are experiencing mental illness especially suicide or if you think someone is and point one we have this stigma about mental illness that no it's your fault that you did it and it doesn't matter if it's depression alcoholism OCD anxiety uh, panic attacks. No, we, we're like, it's your fault. Or we're like, you know, we don't talk about that stuff. You know, that's not stuff that you talk about. When in reality, you know, you need to talk about it. Because more people than you think suffer from any form of mental illness. And as we know, like with the AIDS situation, the stigma prevented people from getting help or prevented, you know, from accurate information to get to them. And we, and we can see that with other things as well. Not just AIDS or mental illness. Uh, not off the top of my head, I can remember. With the Ebola that was earlier this week. A lot of people, you know, there's a stigma about it and this misinformation about it. And people, particular people high up in the media, were giving false information about it. And a lot of people panicked. And I think that's a lot of what happens with mental illness. Is there's a lot of misinformation out there about it. What it is. Uh, how do you get it? Is it contagious? And, and stuff like that and you know someone who's I'm pretty sure doesn't have a mental illness but I know people who do and I can tell you like and they have depression the ones I know about and I can tell you that these people who were full of life when I first met them who were up and uppity and just wonderful and out there you know I saw what really was inside of them and, I, and it's scary because they're all alone if it was with the depression even with any mental illness you know you feel alone you feel like you're the only one going through it and from my end you know it was nothing as bad as theirs but it made me sad because I you know they had to go through it and there was nothing I can do no, substantially, you know, I could like lend them my hand, you know, and that could help alleviate for that time. But I know nothing I do is going to help them long term. That, you know, I can only help alleviate it for that second, which I guess is better than them constantly being it. Which is another point, though. For the people who have depression, I know, 
No, they don't always have it. And that's the thing. Like with Kurt Cobain, how many people are like, oh, yeah, he didn't seem like he had depression. No, based on what I have, you know, know and looked up, you know, with a lot of these mental illnesses, illnesses, especially depression, you don't always show signs. And that's the thing. If you think someone generally, there's something generally wrong with them, wrong with them, that they need help, you know, speak up. Because a lot of times, you know, that person doesn't want to. They want to brush it under, or they don't even know something is wrong. And, you know, a lot of times, you know, people that they didn't get help, you know, and made the situation worse. Because nothing was said, nothing was done. I mean, even the people who get help, you know, it's not guaranteed. But it's better than nothing. And you know, from my end as someone who's never had a mental illness, I may be a little OCD. Uh, though, nothing severe enough. You know, you do need to understand where they're coming from. Help that person, no matter what it is. It's depression, anxiety, panic attacks. OCD, severe phobias, you know, I get, I think schizophrenia, stuff like that. You know, you need to help them. You need to understand it's very tough for them, and you just gotta go along with them and help them. Because, you know, odds are they're going to need a lot of help. And unfortunately, Things like that happen to people. Unfortunately, people get cancer, depression, diabetes. Uh, they die in a plane crash. They kill themselves. They fall and are left for dead. You know, bad things happen to people. That is sad. That horrible things happen. And a lot of times to the nicest, best of people. And we as people who are on the completely other side of that need to recognize that and help the people. And that's the most important thing you can do. Is you know, lend an ear. Lend your time. Lend a hug. You know. I may not help long term but you know for those people you know it feels nice you know someone cares about them that someone's you know trying to understand what they're going through and I know what my friends me doing that you know they liked it and they really appreciate because a lot of people you know did pay attention to them I did and you know they are very grateful for that because you know not a lot of people frankly can't and it's not with mental illness people in general just don't give a damn about other people it's like oh that's them not me well I mean we do need to understand we're all connected now and it's like people let's say in Cincinnati there's people who say oh that's the other people in the community that doesn't affect me well you know that's all gonna compound and then that's all gonna affect everyone that one little issue yeah it's like oh it's their problem well nine months later it affects everyone in that community it's the same with the mental illness uh, I'm gonna show you guys some uh, stats about mental illness you know and a lot of them I was really surprised like a lot of them you know is a lot higher than you think and it's kind of scary
And remember, it, if you feel like you need help or no one's listening to you, I'm going to post here in the video and in the about video description hotlines dealing from mental illness to eating disorder to suicide to depression uh, the ones in the video are going to be shorter it will be an incomplete list, list. Uh, the ones in the description will be a longer more descriptive list and remember if you do have a mental illness remember it's not your fault it's no, it's nothing you could have ever done to yourself it's a, not a flaw in character or anything like that it's nature it's a flaw in nature chemistry whatever and if you do have a mental illness don't beat yourself up that you have one just get the help and find a support group a friends family whatever who's going to be by your side no matter what and that's my advice see